hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm queen and in today's video you guys i'll just be sharing with you my experience when visiting grand rapids michigan so you guys i'm going to be honest originally i had planned on vlogging this experience but honestly i just felt like when i got there i just felt like i just need to enjoy the moment honestly like i felt a little burnt out and i'm just being honest so i still wanted to share with you guys like exactly like like what i thought about the experience of being there because it was my first time going there and i wanted to share with you guys the places i went so just in case you were thinking about going or you know even if it wasn't a place that was on your mind just so you can know like what to expect when you went there so i will include pictures and i will include like links down below so if you guys wanted to check out any of these places that i visited when i was there you'll be sure to know exactly like where to look and you know where to go and if this is something you think you'd be interested in watching then just continue to stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into the video all right you guys so first i just want to say grand rapids is a really good vibe it's like super chill you know, it, it's just like good vibes. It's like a place that you go when you just want to like get away and not be around, you know, like a lot of chaos and you just want to chill. So it's going to give that. It's it's super chill. I felt like overall, like the people were really nice um, everywhere I went. People mind their business and I like places where people just mind their business and it's just like, oh, okay. But they're still nice. It, it's, I don't know, it's just really good vibes. I guess you want to call it like the Midwest vibes if that's what it is. But I really enjoy the Midwest vibes. So like I said, you guys, I did go there just to visit like, you know, family. Um, and just like take time to like reset, you know, and just relax. Um, the first place I want to tell you guys about that I actually went to was this place called, we went to uh, 40 Acres. I literally planned to go there before I went to Michigan um, because basically I was like online just trying to see where I was gonna go because like I said in the beginning of the video you guys we all know that most people aren't just like oh let me go on a trip to Grand Rapids you know what I'm saying for the most part it's because it's usually cold and snow in there so nobody's really trying to run into the snow and run into the cold but I know like I had to have like some type of like itinerary together I know my cousin I know she was gonna like make sure we had a good time too but i just also wanted to like look for myself too because i do travel especially before COVID. i used to travel a lot um but um yeah so basically what i will say is 40 acres was an amazing experience um it was just like a super modern like soul kitchen cognac bar so funny thing about that is I, one, I don't eat soul food on a regular. It's not like something that I enjoy really at all. Like some of the sides, like mac and cheese or whatever, yes, I'm here for it. But I'm just not really like a soul food person like that. And then the second thing is I don't even like cognac, but at all, like I will not drink it. Um, Cause literally it will have me like somewhere laid in a corner. And I don't really like the taste either. But the thing about this place was for one, the food was absolutely, absolutely amazing. The vibes, amazing. The customer service, amazing. Um, even though it is, they specialize in like being known as like a cognac bar, they literally have like an extensive liquor list. I mean, they had lots of options, a lot of top shelf things as well. So like it was just a lot of options other than cognac. And they had a lot of top shelf like liquor options from like, you know, vodka, tequila, everything. So it was just really good. Um, like like I said, really great vibes. Um, one thing that really stood out, of course, was the food. It was so good. And then also like um they had like drinks that had like the cutest names. Like I know two of the shots that we had, one was like a Christopher Wallace, like named after like Biggie, and the other one was like Tupac Shakur. And me and my cousin, we love us some Tupac. So it was really cool. Like that was like we it was like really nice, but like the experience overall was really nice. So I definitely would say if you're ever in Grand Rapids, definitely check out 40 Acres. Like I say, amazing food, amazing drinks, and amazing customer service. Um, another place that we actually visited was um this place called G Noir, and it's basically an upscale wine bar. So y'all, let me tell you. So my cousin, 
she had been talking about this place before I got there. She was like, yeah, we're going to go there. She was like, it's super cute. It's like downtown or whatever. Um, oh, and at Place 48 because it's downtown too. Um, so she's like, yeah, we're going to go there. So we went. Um, they have like live music. And then they also um, just have like the customer service there once again was so amazing. Um, one thing that I did notice about Michigan is like they like to... Um, and they're like establishments of everywhere you go. They like to use a lot of local stuff. But one thing about it is like everywhere you'll go, like people will say, oh, like this may be locally made or this is local, but it's not always like really good. But I feel like Grand Rapids, they definitely, definitely take pride in labeling things as like anything that they say is local, they go above and beyond for it to be absolutely amazing. So when we were there, we tried two bottles of like their local wines. I can't remember exactly which ones were, but the owner was there and he was like behind the bar and he like referred, not referred, suggested. There we go. <laughs> he suggested like the first one. And then the second one, of course, because you know, I would like bartend and do bottle service. I was like looking and I looked at like, you know, to see like, you know what different wines he had so i picked the next one and it was also local because while i was there i noticed that the locally stuff was really good the local stuff was really good so i was like oh let's just try this and let's try that so i was on like a local roll the whole time i was there it was crazy but it was amazing also while we were there they have like um the different like fruit and cheese boards and all of that so we ended up getting one so let me tell you guys, like the sprays that were on these fruit and cheese boards, mmm, amazing. It was like this jam. And I don't know, the, the owner of the place said that it was locally made and the lady, um, she sells it out there, but I don't know. But whatever it is, it was so good. And um, I was just like, this is like so good. Like it was like the best jam I've ever had in my life. Like I promise you. But it was just like a really great experience. Like like the customer service was great. Um, the owner was really nice. Um, it was just really great. The food there was good. Like even though we had that, we had everybody else at the bar asking us like, oh, what did you guys get? Oh, next time I'm gonna have to get that. Cause basically we were just ordering stuff so we could like see how everything was and how everything tasted. Like we're, me and my cousin, we're like really big on that when we go places that we've never been we'll like order like basically almost the whole menu is sad even if we don't eat it all even if we take it with us or even if we don't we just want the experience to say we tried this we tried that and just to have a great time and that's just what we do so yeah so if you're ever in grand rapids be sure to check out Gina war i promise you you'll love it it's super cute great vibes and the drinks are amazing as well um, and next, you guys, I'm going to tell you about um, this place called Bodie's Chop House. So if you are like a person that's really into like, you know, fine dining, you'll really enjoy it. It's like one of their local spots, but the food was absolutely amazing. The steak, I got a filet, I think. I think a filet. Yeah, I got a filet because New York Strip is my favorite and they didn't have New York Strip. They only had like ribeye and I like ribeye, but the ribeyes they had were huge. So... I didn't want to get that so i got a filet but when i tell you it was so tender it was like so so good so i promise you everything there was amazing and once again the customer service was amazing as well i feel like it's so crazy because i feel like like the food network they just need to take like a tour to grand rapids because i know in this video you guys all i'm talking about is food and drinks but like I'm being honest, this is what it is in Grand Rapids. Like this is what it is to do. You eat, you drink. It's the good life, you know. <laughs> so yeah, Bodie's Chop House. For those of you that are into fine dining, you will love it. Um, it's steakhouse. They specialize in steaks, but they also have you know like seafood and all of that as well. So you definitely, definitely enjoy it. Um, you know, like once again, like I'm saying, you guys, like Grand Rapids. I know you guys are like, I mean, girl, was this a food review video, drink review video? No, but like, honestly, the place is so chill and so calm, not much going on. But if you want some good food and some good drinks, that's what Grand Rapids, Michigan, that's what it's for, to relax. Don't think about nothing. Just eat, just drink. <laughs> so 
Just remember I told you that. Also, you guys, I do want to let you know that if you are going in the winter, and I think their winter starts sooner than most people's winter because it gets really cold there. Just be prepared that while you're there, it's probably going to snow. When I was there, it snowed like two days. It was really cold, but I grew up in the cold. I'm used to the snow, so I was fine. Um, I actually was taking pictures with no coat on and everything. Like, life was good, even though I was really freezing. But, you know, for the sake of your pictures, you got to do what you got to do. Um, also, I will tell you, like... If you are like a content creator and you want to go somewhere to kind of like, you know, like reset, um, you know, chill, relax, you know, eat drinks and still get like some good content. I would say Grand Rapids is a great place for that because they have really good scenery. Like the downtown area has so many good spots where you can take so many good pictures. Um, I did the best I could with catching pictures out there. They had like so many good spots for you to catch really great photos. But like, honestly, that one day that I took to like actually get content as far as pictures goes, it was freezing. I think it was like, I think it was like 16, 17 degrees a day, maybe 20 high, but it was like really, really cold. Um, So yeah, so I would like to warn you about that. So if you do want to go and like really just be like free to not be uncomfortable, like in the cold or whatever, I would suggest going during the spring or summer. Yeah. So you guys, I know, I know that it seemed like this was like a big food drink review video but i'm telling you there's not much going on in grand rapids i had a wonderful time when i was there so anyone watching this video who's been there or you're from there don't be offended because i'm saying that there's not much going on there it's a chill place a chill cool place to be just not much going on but when it comes to the food and drinks you guys grand rapids you gotta go good time chill time Grand Rapids is the place to be. So, you guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, um, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you are from Grand Rapids and you're watching this video, let me know some other places that I could possibly go on my next visit. If you've never been to Grand Rapids and you have any questions about the places that I've been, be sure to leave it down in the comments. And you guys, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, guys. Bye.